Oh, perhaps we should look at some pedals. Yeah, we got, got a cool board, board down here. here. Did you want me to demonstrate some? I think that would be ideal. Okay. Let's hear what this stuff sounds like. This is the biggest my board has ever been. I think awesome. last time I talked to Premier Guitar and did a rig rundown, it was kind of embarrassing because I had like no pedals at all. <laughs> I had nothing to talk about. I had like one guitar and I was going straight into an amp and it was the shortest interview ever. <laughs> but now I got stuff to talk about. Awesome. Shall I flip the Andrew back on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Great. Let's see. All right, so clean, you know, it's pretty light and jangly. Um, uh, my main go-to pedal, I say the one I can't live without, Desert Island pedal. It's probably my analog man, King of Tone, and it's old and it's beaten up. A friend of mine gave it to me. Um, and I, I was like, maybe I should just get another one because the, uh, the, red, the red feature, which I think is the dirtier channel, doesn't actually work anymore. Uh -huh. So I thought about getting another one, then I saw how much they're going for on eBay and how long the wait list is. I said, I'll make it work. Um, <laughs> so you go right into the volume pedal and then into the analog man first? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I go through the volume pedal. Um, and I, I just use that for just nuanced stuff for slide guitar and swells. And, you know, the, the volume pedal is probably actually my main go-to. I probably use that the most in the show. But as far as pedals go, analog man is pretty mean. <laughs> I mean, it has more features than that, but mine doesn't. Um, <laughs> but it, you know, it, it's kind of what I need it for when I'm when I go into a solo and I need something loud and aggressive. Bang! That's it's there. Pedal. It's right there. Cool. And then when you need something even louder and more aggressive, you've got your JHS Mini Foot Fuzz, and I like it because it's mini, and you can fit more on a pedal board. But. <laughs> just loud and aggressive. Now is that the fuzz you used on um, Love Your Letters on the album? Love, yeah, yeah, Love Letters. I think I used <laughs> it on Bulletproof. Yeah, that the solo on Love Letters. Yeah, it's got that I tone. actually used that pedal a lot on the record. Okay. Surprisingly, with, with all the solos, it just, like I said, it, it gets a, it's the most aggressive. So in the studio, when you're looking for this wide range of sound, I tend to kind of throw everything at the wall when it comes to the solos, so. Sounds so. like a good strategy to me. <laughs> so then moving on to my super shifter <clears throat> I probably don't utilize I don't utilize even a fraction of what this pedal can do um, but I kind of use it I've got a few moments in the show where I do either dive bombs or like you know the really high up octaves or something but like if you're if you want to go up you can Ooh, that's not fast enough you can do it faster hang tight that was that's like the slowest it's ever gone. Yeah, just so it's like you get that Tom Morello thing yep. happening if you need it. Um, and I dig that you have a pog on there too, because whenever yeah. there's a pog, you know there's some weirdness. Yes, yes. So no, I, I do use like the super shifter and the pog. You know, that kind of happens around the same time in the show. <laughs> uh, it's like, that's the crazy maniac part of the show. But yeah, the pog is fun. You can, you know, get the octave up or sub octave or octave up. Yeah. I mean, that's just fun. I, I use it a lot for solos. You know, when you want, honestly, I'll use the, the foot fuzz with it and the micro pogs sound like they go really well together. I can give you a little of that if you want. Excellent. Yeah, pretty cool. Very cool. Then my carbon, the carbon copy, uh, analog delay, MXR, it's my favorite delay. You can really tweak it, play around. I, I've got a 
with the last record, we had a song called Somebody's Always Trying, and I get down on the floor and kind of mess with the, you know, the repeat into the delay, and mm -hmm. you can make it make some really wild sounds, and, and you can get it to, to drop down and, you know, go really low with its... Yeah, play with the sweep. And yeah, play with the sweep. Get a little weird. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, kind of like doing that. Uh, for the, you said you liked the love letters. Uh, I don't have my slide up here, but how we did that was... <laughs> we did that with this pedal, and... Uh, and you know, like a slide guitar and a vibe. Cool. Yeah. And you have a, a Rocky Mountain slide signature slide, is that right? I do, I have one of those, but lately I've kind of been going back to my roots and just and using brass, but I do like okay. my ceramic slides from them. Because you can get a range of tone and um, I've I kind of been finding more with the brass ones, it's got a slimmer profile and it's a little easier to control for me. Mm -hmm. um, especially because most of my guitars have lower action. Because I like to double up and use them for slide and for, you know, straight up soloing. Yeah. But, um, so I got to kind of keep it a little closer to the neck. But, you know, for brass, it's just for me, I get a little bit more control out of it. Less, you know, fret clanking and mm -hmm. uh, it's just a little smoother of an operation. So then uh, this brings me to my two newest pedals. <laughs> which Pretty I and loud. Nothing. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, we're going this way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yep. sorry. We'll get to pretty and loud later. Forget all this. I don't want to this, this is barely being used. Oh, okay. Um, no, I mean, the loud is for the loudest, uh, you know, for my electric guitar. Pretty is for the acoustic guitar. Okay. I've got an LR Bags uh, pair acoustic DI that's for acoustic. You can kind of EQ out the wonky frequencies and play with it a bit. Um, and then this right here, JHS tremolo pedal. It's so dang new, I can't remember what it is called, but... uh. Uh, Tidewater. Oh, there you go. JHS Tidewater Tremolo. I just got it. This is also its debut tonight for the baritone guitar. Excellent. So you need a little tremolo for a baritone guitar. Yeah, just pretty tremolo, you know, and you, I'm still working out the settings and everything. So then this, I didn't... I, I just got it. I'm just trying to, I'm playing with some reverse uh, delay. Oh yeah. In the show. It's really, I, I don't know what I'm doing just yet, but I know I'm gonna figure it out. I know, but it's awesome though, isn't it? Reverse delay is so much fun. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I hope I don't mess it up today, but um, the Line 6 DL4. <laughs> and I, I, I'm running it off the batteries because I, I, don't, I don't know, I guess you need like the 12 volt adapter or something special. Have yeah. You have to go get some kind of special adapter for it. but. It's kind of cool. I was messing with it this afternoon. You can um, get some really unique things out of it. Oh. I have to be really careful with how I do this. Instantly in Axis Bolded Love Territory. Yeah, cool. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I, I didn't know that I could do this on a pedal. I was like, this is just studio trickery, but you can do anything live. Yeah. Anything you want. Yeah, which is great. We just sort of live in this golden age of gear. Yeah, you know, yeah. Which is I'm, pretty amazing. I'm a little overwhelmed by it. Like I said, I, I'm kind of, I, I came from like a pretty simplified place gear-wise. Like last time I talked to you, I was pretty out of my element <laughs> with the gear, but... um. <laughs> Well, you've got a cool it's grown. pedal board. It's grown. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very cool. It's really yeah. personal to me um, in the ways that I use it. And, you know, that's all that counts. I'm, I'm still figuring out new ways to use it all the time, which is really fun. 